Welcome to, Open Box Education. In this video, you will know about, ASIC Design Flow. If you like this video, please, share and subscribe. Open Box Education. Today, ASIC Design Flow, is a very mature process, in silicon turnkey design. The ASIC Design Flow, and, its various steps, in VLSI Engineering, that we describe below, are based on best practices, and, proven methodologies, in ASIC chip designs. This video attempts, to explain different steps, in the ASIC design flow, starting from ASIC design concept, and, moving from specifications, to benefits. This figure shows, various steps, in ASIC design flow. Please look into the figure, total 11 steps are in ASIC design flow. Step 1, Chip Specification This is the stage, at which, the engineer defines features, microarchitecture, functionalities, hardware, and, software interface, specifications, time, area, power, speed, with design guidelines, of ASIC. Step 2, Design Entry, or, Functional Verification Functional verification, confirms the functionality, and, logical behavior, of the circuit, by simulation on, a design entry level. This is the stage, where the design team, and, verification team, come into the cycle, where they generate, RTL code, using test benches. Step 3, RTL block synthesis, or, RTL function. Once, the RTL code, and, test bench are generated, the RTL team, works on RTL description, they translate the, RTL code, into a, gate level net list, using a logical synthesis tool, that meets, required timing constraints. Step 4, Chip Partitioning. This is the stage, wherein the engineer follows, the ASIC design, layout requirement, and, specification, to create its structure, using EDIA tools, and, proven methodologies. This design structure, is going to be verified, with the help of, HLL programming languages, like C++, O, R System C. Step 5, Design for Test, DFT, Insertion. With the ongoing trend, of lower technology nodes, there is an increase, in system on chip, variations like, size, threshold voltage, and, wire resistance. Due to these factors, new models, and, techniques are, introduced to, high quality testing. Step 6, Floor Planning, Blueprint Your Chip. After, DFT, the physical implementation process, is to be followed. In physical design, the first step, in RTL to GDS2 design, is floor planning. It is, the process of, placing blocks in the chip. It includes, block placement, design portioning, pin placement, and, power optimization. Step 7, Placement. Placement, is the process of, placing standard cells, in row, a poor, placement requires, larger area, and, also degrades performance. Various factors, like the timing requirement, the net lengths, and hence the connections of cells, power dissipation, should be taken care. It removes timing violation. Step 8, Clock Tree Synthesis. Clock Tree Synthesis, is a process of building, the clock tree, and, meeting the defined timing, area, and power requirements. It helps, in providing the, clock connection, to the clock pin, of a sequential element, in the required time, and, area, with low power consumption. Step 9, Routing. Global Routing. Calculates, estimated values, for each net, by the delays of, fan out, of wire. Global Routing is, mainly divided into, line routing, and, maze routing. Detailed Routing. In detailed routing, the actual delays, of wire, is calculated by, Various optimization methods, like timing optimization, clock tree synthesis, etc. Step 10, Final Verification, 
physical verification and timing. After routing, ASIC design layout undergoes three steps of physical verification, known as SIGNOF checks. This stage helps to check whether the layout working the way it was designed to. The following checks are followed to avoid any errors just before the tape out. Layout versus schematic LVS is a process of checking that the geometry or layout matches the schematic or net list. Design rule checks DRC is the process of checking that the geometry in the GDS file follows the rules given by the foundry. Logical equivalence checks LVC is the process of equivalence check between pre and post design layout. Step 11 GDS2 Graphical Data Stream Information Interchange In the last stage of the tape out, the engineer performs wafer processing, packaging, testing, verification, and delivery to the physical IC. GDS2 is the file produced and used by the semiconductor foundries to fabricate the silicon and handle to client. Thank you very much. If you like this video, share and subscribe. Open Box Education